Live weather on East Texas Live is brought to you by Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Let's check in with KETK's Chief Meteorologist, Carson Vickroy. How are you doing out there, Carson? It is quite steamy out here, Raina. I don't know if that is a, a good word or a wise word to describe the weather, but that's just kind of how it feels. The sun is starting to shine through the, some of the clouds here. We saw a little bit of rain, but you can feel the humidity from that rainfall now. And we're not entirely done with the showers and thunderstorms. Let's go ahead and take live Viper radar. And let me go ahead and show you something. To the east of Longview, especially, that's where the most intense rains are in East Texas. Now, some of this could create some heavy downpours. It's not going to last very long, so I wouldn't cancel any of those outdoor plans, but it's going to leave slightly cooler temperatures and a lot more humidity in place. But as you can see, most of the activity is starting to move into Harrison County. We'll eventually move into northeastern Panola County before all is said and done. And we also have a couple of showers and for parts of Shelby County to the northeast of center there. So all this we'll keep an eye on. Air is very unstable and there's a lot of moisture and energy for the atmosphere to work with, especially given that these temperatures are in the 70s and 80s for the most part. We just look at Tyler. I mean, it is warm. We're about 84 degrees. It's 88 in Jacksonville. We're starting to see a few 90s now, lower 90s for center and Hemphill. So the rain in the area really has not done a good job of cooling it down yet, but it's really these dew points. That's how it feels. We are in the 60s and 70s, and these dew points are cranking. Crockett's dew points, it's 77 degrees. It's a little cooler on the dew points for Gilmer, Longview, and Marshall with those dews in the 60s. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, the severe thunderstorm watch. It's still out for some of our eastern counties, so we'll have to keep a close eye on some of those storms. But I would say for at least Cass County pointing off to the north, the severe weather threats generally over. We'll just have to watch what happens with those storms out to our east a little later on. Reflected on Futurecast, and it's doing a great job of showing us what the weather is actually going to be like. We look at all these model runs and our in-house model, which is what this Futurecast model has been dead on all morning. These showers and thunderstorms will continue to slowly move off to the east, and I think we're done by 2 o'clock. I think your threat is over. Over by two as well. We may have a couple of drips and drops, maybe a couple of showers for our eastern counties. That's about it. By four, we d will start to see a few peaks of sunshine for our western counties as those clouds will move with the showers to our east. And then by 10 o'clock tonight, we're generally going to be seeing just a couple of clouds here and there. Now, today, it's still going to be warm regardless of that rain. We hit 95 for tonight, we're down to about 76. I'll continue to mention a few clouds in the forecast, but it's definitely going to be muggy. There's just no way around that. And if we don't hit 100 degrees on Sunday, I'm fairly confident we will on Monday as we look at our next seven days. Regardless, we're well above average for this time of year, and it will continue to be so through next week. Just look at your seven day forecast. A couple of showers and thunderstorms possible today, and then tomorrow and Sunday, that might prevent us from hitting 100 degrees, but it probably won't prevent us on Monday, and then we'll see more sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday as the pattern be begins to break up just a little bit. In deep East Texas, similar trend. We're at the century mark on Monday.